Hello and welcome back to Swell Field Tennis. My name is Shadab. In today's class, we'll be talking about wall loads. Basically, how we are supposed to apply wall loads in E tabs. Okay, so I'll divide this class into two to three parts. The very first part will be the manual calculation. So I'll show you how to get the values and everything, and how you come up with this number. Okay. In the second part, we'll be looking into the uh, you know code book and everything, and then uh, we'll come to this E tabs part. I'll show you how to apply the loads. And in the third part, I'll show you how to delete the existing loads and reapply if in case you make a mistake. Okay, so this is the three parts in which we'll be working in today's class. So let's get started with the very first part, which is the manual calculation part. For example, now I have got two floors here: ground floor and first floor. Okay, now I have got my beam here in this region. Then I have got my columns in this side. Now my floor to floor height is approximately three meters. And for those who are wondering where the slab will come, slab will come something like this. Okay. The thickness of beam will be more than the thickness of slab by default. Okay, so let me just remove this for now. Don't worry about the slab part. Just think about the beam and think about the your uh, columns. Okay, so now the condition is such that my depth of the beam is approximately 400 mm. Okay, so I have given it as 0.4 meter here, and my floor to floor height is 3 meters. So what is going to be the height of my brick wall? It's going to be approximately 3 minus 0.4, that is 2.6 meters. Okay, so I have ground floor, first floor. Okay. The the floor to floor height is approximately three meters. In that four meters is point uh, four meters is my beam depth. Then what is the height of my brick wall? Two point six meters. So understanding this is very important because we need to understand how did we come to the two point six meters value. Okay, what are we doing? Floor to floor height minus the depth of the beam. When we do this, we get two point six meters. Now come to the this part of calculations. So where the brick wall is, how how we are going to calculate this? The very first thing is density of bricks. All right. So how will I get to get to the density of bricks part? I have to open up my code book for this. Okay. IS 825 Part 1. In that, you come to page number six. You will find bricks and various values for the bricks. Okay. We have got uh, you know brick dust. We have got we have got brick chips. Also, we have got. So everything has got different different densities. If we come down further, also you will find different kind of bricks and everything here. All right. But I'll stick to page number six for now. In page number six, if you come and see, we have got we have got common burn clear bricks. We have got engineering bricks. We have got different kind of bricks over here. All right. So I S 875 Part 1, page number 6. So the density that I have considered is 21 kN per meter cube. It is basically I have considered engineering bricks for my example. Okay. So from this is, that is where from where I I got my density. Then thickness of bricks 0.25 meters is what I have considered. Now to understand the thickness of bricks, we have we have two types of wall, right? Basically we have got main wall and uh, and what do we have? We have partition wall. All right. Main wall is approximately 10 inch thick. And your partition wall will be approximately five inch thick. To better understand this concept, I have uploaded a small reel on my Instagram channel. Uh, this is the reel where you have got main wall and you have got partition wall. Okay, I have even taken the measurements and I have shown you. So if you want to understand better on-site conditions, how the bricks will be there, uh, main wall and partition wall, you can check out this reel. All right. For now, what do we need to understand? We need to understand that we have two types of walls. That is, one is main wall and one is partition wall. Main wall approximately the thickness will be 10 inches, and partition wall the thickness will be 5 inches. Now when I convert this inches into uh, meters, it will come approximately 0.225 or something. I have taken 0.25 meters here as my thickness of brick. All right. So from where do I get the thickness? It depends upon your uh, wall. If it is a main wall, it will be how much? 0.225 or 0.25. If it is partition wall, it will be 5 inches thick. Okay. That is, that is approximately 0.15 something. Then height of the brick wall. If you come and see here, we have discussed about this in depth. That height of the brick wall is 2.6 meters. All right. So density of brick is how much? 21. From where did I get 21? I got it from my code book. Then the next is thickness of brick. Again, I said two we have. What is main? What is main? Uh, main wall. One is partition wall. Okay. So the values are something gonna be like uh, basically 225 mm or 150 mm approximately. Okay. Main wall and partition wall. Then height of the brick wall. We have seen it depends upon what. It depends upon your floor to floor height and the depth of that of the beam. So when you put all of this together, you are supposed to find the value out. Now we know the basic formula that is density is equal to mass by volume. Okay, mass unit I have interchanged here. Interchangeably we are using it. So basically what is happening? Density into volume. If you do, you get the final outcome. Okay. So if I would just open up my calculator over here, I'll just show it to you that we have density as 21 times. I need to find what? I need to find thickness of brick and height of the brick that I we already have. So I'm going to do 0.25 into 2.6. Okay, I'm getting 13.65 kilonewton per meter. Okay, so this is at least what I am supposed to take and apply in my E tab. So I hope you have understood the 
manual calculation part again thickness of brick i have just, just taken 0.25 meter here if you do proper conversions you will get proper values there all right now come to e tabs now now how do i apply the load for example if i want to apply the load to all my beams over here how do i apply it i'll go to select select object type okay please no, make sure you are going forward again you have to open up your uh, model it shouldn't be locked like this it should be open like this then go for select select object type in this select beams here and select this so all the beams will get selected okay after which you go for assign you go for frame loads distributed load in this we have got multiple loads that we have defined already go for wall loads over here in the wall loads just put in the values for example i have got 13.65 so either you write 13.65 directly like this okay well and good but if you don't have a calculator with you just do 21 times the 0.25 that is the thickness of the brick into the height that is 2.6 okay just hit enter it will take the value for you like this all right do this much click on apply and click on okay so you can see everywhere 13.65 has been applied now if i want to see the values over here come to these icons over here okay one is for wall one is for frame and one is for shells come for this frame option click on this in the load pattern go for wall loads click on apply you will be able to see the load like this again let me repeat what i do you just have to come over here to this particular icon display frame load assigns click on this go for the particular load that is a uh, combination is uh, uh, go for the particular uh, pattern that is wall load pattern then click on apply and click on okay i have to open that i have to uh, select this one first then click on apply you can you will be able to see it all right so now for example now when you come to the top part okay in the top part what do we have we have got we don't have to put wall loads and all no here okay because it's a terrace level in terrace we don't have any walls coming there we have only wall in the periphery all right that is called as parapet wall so what i what will i do now is i'll go to the topmost level let me see which i if i am top or small level level or not okay okay what i'll do i have to set all my beams so i'll go for select select object type i'll go for beams select the beams first okay all the beams will get selected like this just do right click and click on show select the objects only okay this will remove all my uh, you know uh, slabs from here now what i can do is i can just drag and set all of these beams like this okay now i'm going to show you how to delete this delete these loads okay so that all these beams okay so all these beams go to assign option go to frame loads go to distributed okay and make sure you are in the same uh, load pattern i have applied the load in uh, this one uh, that is the wall loads so I have to be in wall loads only okay then click on delete existing loads and click on apply and click on okay it will delete the existing loads all right now for my uh, height of the parapet instead of getting 2.6 meters i'll get little less, less right i'll get something like it will be is equal to 21 that is going to the density of the bricks into the thickness is going to be 0.25 for example okay into height is going to be just 1 meter because parapet height is ne ne nearly 1 meter so if, if you give something like 1.3 also you consider 1.3 here so what is the value that you get here this may just open this 21 times 0.25 thickness into 1.3 height i get 6.825 so 6.825 kN per meter all right this for my what i'll just mention over here uh, for uh, terrace wall or something i just mentioned like this parapet wall terrace wall whatever you want to mention you can just mention over, over there okay so i have to apply 6. 825 I have to apply so I come back to a tabs now I showed you how to delete the loads control that I will do all of them are there what we did we set all of them okay once all of them were selected I went to assign I went to the frame load option here went to distribute it here what I do I made sure that I am in the same load pattern I click on delete existing loads okay now what I want to do is I want to change these loads they are high loads okay I want to put something like 6.825 so what I will do I will select only this okay you can see all of them okay we just select it from the periphery like this select all of these beams then what will i do i'll go to assign i'll go to frame loads i'll go to distributed i'll be in the i'll be in the wall loads only option and then what i'll do here replace existing loads option is there so i have to just replace the value here i'll put 6.825 over here okay 6.825 then when i apply it all the loads will get replaced even here if i want to change say for example if i want to put 7 over here for example first i'll select the object i'll change the value here then i'll click on apply it will get that value let me show it to you again you'll get that value 
So replacing load is very simple because by default you will be in replacing replace existing load option will be there. Okay, if you want to delete something, select the object, go for the existing load, click on apply, that load will be removed for you. Okay, so you can use that option to replace the load. If you have applied something by mistake, you can easily change it like this. All right. So uh, one more thing that before winding up the class is that as usual we have our courses uh, now it apps safe rcdc and sap 2000 will get all right again find out coupon is active again whenever i make a video i'll make this coupon active most of the times so this coupon is active so you'll get four separate courses if you apply the coupon code it will become 999 if you want to buy them separately the option is also available for you you can go for it apps and save for 1000 rupees rcdc for 500 and we even have uh, sap 2000 also for 500 or 500, 600 rupees approximately and in stat pro what i have done is uh, many students were not able to understand what content is covered, so I have renamed the content. All right. So if you go to the content option, you can see we have got different practice models and everything over here. Uh, we have approximately eight to nine models, both English and Hindi. You can go and check the content out. Okay, RCDC also is covered in this. Again, on this also, finite coupon is available right now. So it will cost like four ninety nine rupees or something. Uh, I think so. All right. It will cost you four ninety nine rupees or something if you go for this that pro course. All right. So if you're interested, I'll give the links in description both for my Instagram channel and this channel. You can just go and check out the content over there. Okay. So that's all for now. Thank you.